welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Philippians 2.15 and we are now kind of expanding it and we are looking at eight ways as to how a Christian could possibly respond to the world. Yesterday we looked at three negatives and these are all I words. Number one, isolation. Number two, indulge and imitate the world. And number three is to incinerate the world, just blasting them by our attitudes and also by our words. Now today, we uh, look at something that is positive. Uh, the other five that we are going to look at are all positive. So number four, we need to illuminate the darkness around us. We are living in a very dark world. We looked at this earlier. A divided world, a dangerous world, a deceived world. Those are four D words we looked at. A dark world, a divided world, a deceived world, a dangerous world. And in this kind of a world, we are called to shine for the Lord. We must illuminate the darkness around us. Doesn't matter where you live, there is moral, spiritual darkness. People are living in ignorance of the truth, in ignorance of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you and I are called to dispel the darkness by the way we live, yes, but also by the words that we speak. We introduce to people the Lord Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And when the Lord Jesus steps into the darkness of a human heart, he floods it with his light. And what a transformation that occurs. So today, you and I, let's illuminate the darkness around us. The darkness of ignorance. Let's tell someone about the gospel. Let's give someone the Bible to read. And uh, thus for them to come into the knowledge of the Savior, the Lord Jesus. Now, number five. How do I respond to the people of the world around me? Number five. Here is the fifth I word. I must identify with people. This is in striking contrast to number one where we talked about the negative isolation. We are called to identify with people in their suffering, in their hurts, in their pain. We all share common suffering because we are living in a broken world and people all around us are hurting in some way. They are hurting in some way. And you and I are called to come alongside of them and to identify with their pain, to weep with them, and to be able to comfort them. So today, I want to encourage you to keep your eyes wide open. As you talk to people, they may be unbelievers, and you can feel the pain in their voice. Maybe there are relationships that are shattered. Maybe there are dysfunctional families. Maybe there is a serious sickness issue in that family. <laughs> Maybe a loved one has died. Maybe there is loss of employment and the hardships that come along with it. Maybe there are rebellious children. And the list just goes on. And everyone has got a burden. Everyone is carrying a heavy load somewhere. And you and I, the children of God, we are called to come alongside of them and to identify with them in their hurt. The best gift that you can give someone is the gift of listening. The gift of listening. Just letting people open up and unburden themselves and share their pain with you. 
so that you can, in God's given time, be able to minister to them. God bless you as you and I seek to identify with the people who hurt. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.